another part of the brain in reference to all of this, frontal cortex. Frontal cortex is the most interesting part of the brain. It's most recently evolved. We've got more of it proportionally than any other species. What does the frontal cortex do? It makes you do the harder thing when it's the right thing to do. Gratification postponement, long-term planning, impulse control, emotional regulation. The frontal cortex is the part of the brain that says, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're going to be happy you did it. It does all of those harder things when it's the right thing. Now, of course, the picture is frontal cortex and amygdala have a lot to do with each other, which is the frontal cortex spends a whole lot of time sending inhibitory projections down into the amygdala saying, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I know it seems really tempting right now. You're going to regret it. I wouldn't do that. I would Racing to the amygdala before that shortcut gets the amygdala to do something stupid and impulsive there. And the picture you get is basically all of the frontal cortical amygdaloid interactions are top down. The only thing the frontal cortex has to do with the amygdala is like showing up and preaching Christian temperance and things like that. And other than that, it's this very one-directional relationship. In actuality, it's two-directional because we see versions of this all the time. This is every single time in some moment of arousal, of fear, of stress, of who knows what, you make some decision that seems brilliant at the time and you spend the rest of your life regretting it. Ah, it's not just one direction. Bottom up explains an awful lot of when we decide something is the right thing to do in one given moment and may not think that way one and a half seconds from now. And what this speaks to is the whole notion of doing the harder thing when it's the right thing to do. The right thing is once again very context dependent. I mean, think about this. All of these are circumstances where you need self-control to pull things off. I mean, look at this. You're in a circumstance where you're being tempted to lie about something for personal gain and you're trying to avoid the temptation to do that. Your frontal cortex is playing a central role if you're going to resist, resist that temptation. But the second you decide you are going to lie, your frontal cortex is essential for you doing a good job at it. Remember, make eye contact now and then and don't let my voice crack and control. If you've got a part of the brain that's both central to resisting the temptation to lie, but once you decide to lie, doing a good job at it, this is a very, very complex brain region here. Okay. So the frontal cortex makes you do the harder thing when it's the right thing to do. That's very much a context-dependent behavior. And the main thing is the frontal cortex is not this gleaming, cerebral bit of like cognition. It's just marinating all the visceral yuck coming up from underneath. It's a very bi-directional relationship.